What is up guys? Welcome back to another video of Bobby Guy Films. So this weekend we are obviously camping, riding, dogging, riding, a little bit of grilling, oh yeah, a little bit of fishing, a little bit of more riding, and uh, yeah. So we got a bunch going on. It's going to be a big flathead video. We're going to uh, film all weekend. Hopefully I can squeeze out a couple videos out of this weekend. So we're going to bank line all night tonight and tomorrow. Everybody that's seen the last one, I apologize for the bad lighting. It's so dark and I had no idea that all the new flashlights I bought wasn't going to do crap. So I invested and I went and got a brand new light. This bad boy right there. Yep. LED portable 18 volt and 110 so that's gonna light it up so stay tuned we're gonna go get line set and I will see you guys in the dark we're live it's dark we got sis oh, am I blinding you this headlamp yeah. kind of outrageous there we go <laughs> hi sis are you ready to go catch some fish yeah. you want to catch some big ones yeah. how big what is that tall? Oh, that tall? Oh my goodness. Baby boy, he snuggled with mama. It's his first, first fish outing. Here's that light. Let's see how this light works. Yeah, hold on a minute. Alright, here's the light. First time I haven't seen it either. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Holy cow. Money! With these lines, I'm telling you, we, uh, this is our, is this our third, fourth week in really doing it? Yeah. Third or fourth week in really doing it, and the last two weekends it's been so hot and heavy, we've been literally burning through bait. So, Tyler, Chris, they, uh, took today, just like me and Tyler did the last video, went and caught all the bluegills. So, Chris got a better setup than I ever did, that's for dang sure. He's got a, uh, with a little 30 gallon drum, isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be nice. What are we working with? Oh yeah. Holy mackerel, look at the belly on this guy. 9.3, 30 inches. A 9.3 pounder, 30 inches, look at the belly on this guy. Holy cow, look at that. Uh, gee, many Christmas. That was a big fish, boy. That was. was all right, let's go check these lines. We get all the little, look at them, little squad members. Morgan. Harper Lynn, it's okay. Did you get sand in your shoes? Yeah. It's okay, come on. All right, let's check it out. Well, we got us a fishy on the line. That's a long, dude, you put out a long old freaking, good lordy. Oh, sis. <laughs> oh, man. Well, first one of the night, that's on Chris's line. Look at him. Looking sexy, holding the new light. Dude, look at all these gnats. This is bad. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, got us a big old boy here. God dang. <laughs> Hopefully we get a big one on him. You put a frog on this one? We got a pole shaker right here. Look at him go. Oh yeah. This, uh, this pole, Chris, Chris baited with a uh, striped frog. I've never baited lines with frogs, but obviously it's working, so we have to uh, acknowledge that fact. Let's pull this bad boy in here. So you guys, I told you the new light. If this new light is making a world of difference, please uh, let me know. I think it is. Look at that view. I think we got about the same size fish as last time on here. Woohoo! Yep, 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 yep. Nice size channel. Corn of the mouth. Corn of the mouth. 
The night is very young. The night is just getting started. Later, guy. Oh, 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 oh boy, good lord. We got us a pool shaker, boys. Finally, we've been waiting for a fish here. It's been, it's probably been a couple hours since we've had a fish. Now we have one. Look at this pool. Look at her shake, baby. Oh, goodness. Oh. Man, for as much line as we have on this, it's, oh man, that feels like a good one. That feels like a good one for as much line as we have out here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh! Well, that is what we call the quick catch and release, gentlemen. So, I don't know, it's probably about a seven pounder. Seven pound, seven pound channel cat. Still got our bait. That's money. This is, this is our main producing spot tonight, right where this creek and river meet. Uh, I'm giving you guys a little midday update here because I know I haven't been around much. So it's been a long night. The night should be picking up here. We don't have the full moon night like the last video. If you, if you haven't seen the last video, go check out that last video. I'll link it right here. There should be a card popping up. So go check that out. What up and good morning. So last night the bite really fell off. Uh, it's probably about, and it was early. The bite's just not like it was. Uh, you know, uh, that last video, it's just not the same. So. Uh, the waters went down quite a bit, and the bite's just really not as steady. Uh, we have a couple fish on the lines right now. My buddy uh, texted me and said, hey, man, we got, I think we have a turtle on. So we're going to go down and film that. But uh, one of the flathead last night did get... Blah, 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 I can't talk. I just woke up. But one of the flathead did get gut hooked. Uh, but we bought circle hooks, really good circle hooks that aren't supposed to gut hook not true guys complete gimmick so i kept that fish and got him on a stringer so i'm gonna cook him up here in just a few minutes for you guys but we're, let's go check out these uh i can't talk today guys good grief let's go check out these dash these let's go check out these fish let's roll We are here. No light needed. It is daytime. We're going to catch us some fish. <laughs> yep. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, he ain't bad. He ain't bad, he's a little guy. He's the littlest yet, isn't he? Yep. He's a nice flathead, man. Shit's fun. So that was another nice little flathead. We're gonna keep it and uh, fillet him up later. So we'll have a, just make it worth a while, have a couple fish to, to clean up and munch on for lunch. All right, well, looks like we have a turtle on here. This is not gonna be fun. I hate dealing with turtles. They're a pain in my butt. And I think this one's a big one. Jeez, man. I don't want to deal with it, man. Look at all the bubbles coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. I hate turtles, dude. Over the stick! <laughs> he sent it. How's it going, guys? We are back at the house. Got the camper back home. Brought two flathead home. Um, as we were uh, fishing, as you've seen in the video, one of the fish got hooked really bad on a circle hook. Uh, I didn't want to cut it and let him go. So the way that I clean the fish, uh, to tell you right off the bat, I whack them in the head with a club so they're immediately dead right before I, I clean them. So I've had them on a stringer waiting for uh, you know overnight so now they're dead and they're ready to clean 
All right, guys, I haven't done this in about, I don't know, it's probably been, I don't know, maybe two years, but this is just how I do it. A lot of people do it differently. I'm just going to clean one for you guys and show you how I do it, and then I'll uh, go off camera, clean the other, and show you our nice yummy fillets. So here we go. Man, this, this dadgum knife is dull. Very dull. Very dull knife that we're working with here. I uh, recommend have a little, little sharper knife than I do. That's for sure. So I'll make a slit down each side around these back, this back dorsal fin or whatever the heck you want to call it. So I'm just slicing up along the top, down the whole back, just splitting that skin so I can tear the skin off. So I'm just going to do one side for you guys. There's that side. Now I got my grabbers. Grab a corner of this skin real nice and tight. Probably did this. If you guys have a better way of doing this than I am, drop a comment down below and let me know. Alright. Now, fillet this bad boy right on off of here. So start right along the spine. Take little cuts at a time. Once you get going, you'll feel your knife start hitting ribs and the ribs will shoot off that way. I know I'm great at explaining this stuff for sure. You can hear your knife hit the hit the ribs, hit the bones, so I get down to the tail, I'll pull it back like so. don't want to slice into that bone and have that in your meat so make sure you leave all that out Just keep working it I'm a little rusty so I'm going a little slower than probably most of you would but it's all right okay there's one good sizable fillet there I usually flip over and I'll take out this belly chunk here this is a really good piece of meat as well don't don't cut your guts open. Be careful. Don't cut your guts open. You don't want a bunch of junk everywhere. I'm just filleting this belly piece right off of these bones. The same bones that we took off the top. So there's a really another big piece of meat there. Nice nice thick belly meat. That is uh, one whole side of this fish, guys. So there's a. Here's my cleaning technique. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these.